Hello and welcome back. This is Genshin 1913 and we're let's playing Dragon Warrior 3. In our last episode we explored the cave to find Orochi here. We're going to fight him now so that we can save the maidens of Jaipan. As soon as you step in front of him, you fight him. One Orochi appears. Now the best thing to do against this guy is use B kill or by kill or what, however you want to pronounce it. Oh man, that, on on both on both Orochi's gonna attack, I believe, twice or three times around. You're gonna want, yeah, use by kill on both of them to raise their attack power. Why not raise my own? But we'll use the the sage for a healer. Look at the massive amount of damage we're giving. Look at that. Defeated. Destroyed him. I killed Orochi. And I get his sword. Best weapon in the game, arguably. Oh, he's escaping. Best weapon in the game, arguably, for... The... Sage. Whoa, it brought down his... It brought... Wait a minute. Ah, it's alright. The Orochi sword, when used in battle, can cast defense. Oh, warp. Himiko. Himiko has been injured. Oh, well, let's. You know what? We better be safe than sorry. Let's heal up our characters a bit. Nice thing about having a uh, soldier as a um, pilgrim is now he knows some heal. We've seen his true form. He won't eliminate us. Or she won't eliminate us. Screw that. No, we're fighting. Yeah, right. Look at that. We're fighting Orochi again. Again, same kind of tactics as before. Use by kill on uh, your two attackers there. Have him go all out. Now let's use the uh, Orochi sword against him. See how that works. Uh, what the hell? Look at that. Lowered his defense by a bunch. Look at that. Orochi stood no chance against us. And he has another treasure chest. What the hell did we get? Gold? We've been Orochi. Look at that. We've done it. We've saved Jaipan. And we have the purple orb. Yes, Orochi was Himiko. And now he's gone. Or she is gone. Yeah, it's awful, isn't it? I thought that thing was... That person was a jerk. So now we got one orb. These ain't human code scores anymore. Anyways, now we got one orb. One orb out of six. Whoop. The real Orochi, the real Himiko was probably killed by Orochi. It's probably not a bad guesstimate. Yes, thank me. I will take all of your praise. Oh boy. They're gonna start praying to us now. Yes, thank us. Yep. We already have it. We already did that. Thank you. Normally, Orochi is probably much harder than that. Yes. Whoops. Come on. How can you even thank me? How about you give me something? Some sort of item, maybe. Yeah, 
that's right, she's been rescued by me. An outlander. What? An outlander. That'd be me. Yes, we are honorable indeed. That person was saying that her child was going to be a son so they wouldn't get eaten. But now it really is a door. Look at that, now they're being nice to us. Let's return to Egg and Bear. And check out how our town is doing. Whoops. With the Merchant Glen. And then I think we will go to Sue. That'll be kind of fun. Head to Sue. Pick up some nice items there, probably. Oh, look at that, now we got a shop. Now they got crap. They got crap here, but at least it's kind of growing. It's Glenn, he got fat. Real fat. And green. Fat and green. He used to be blue and white. Now he's fat and green. Yep. Shop. Let's head to Sue. Sue is west of here, but to get there we have to go through the rivers. And we have to go south first. Kind of like in Dragon Warrior 2 when you have to go... I forget what the, the town name was, but you had to go through the rivers to get there. Now this can be a little confusing, because there's so many paths, but I think I remember which way to go. You gotta be very careful as not to... Oh, here's a new enemy, Kravis. Kravis, they have a uh, pretty high defense. Whoops. Look at that, he dives head first into the water. God, not some balls. He learns, uh, Bounce and Vivify. Now two out of the four characters that we have can partially bring someone back from the dead. Look at this village, huh? It's a nice little village here. Yes, there is a town. Oh, it's kind of growing. Got a lot of horses here. Oh, look at that. He's Ed the talking horse is telling us what to do now. Now I gotta listen to a friggin' horse. Island with ice. Greenland. Hmm. Great wizard, eh? Oh man, that is so Mr. Ed right there. Let's go to the inn and explore this town in the morning. Now you you don't have to do everything that I'm doing in my in the order. Um because after you get the ship, it's really it's, it really become the game becomes non-linear, you know what I mean? And you don't have to follow an exact set of things to do. But this is the way I do it. Oh, there was once a town there. What has this guy got? Nothing good. Took it away. Good thing we already got it. Yes, we know Mr. Ed. Echoing Flute is in a tower somewhere. Yeah, basically what the Echoing Flute does... Look at that, we found the Staff of Thunder. Anyways, the Echoing Flute tells you where the orbs are. 
Kind of like in Dragon Warrior 2. Nice. Brought up his attack pretty good. Kind of like in Dragon Warrior 2, where the Echoing Flute, um, when you used it, you could find out where the crests are. Oh, these guys sell invisibility herbs as well. A couple last people here. See? I just told you. Yeah, she says the same thing. Now we have... I believe we have Sue on our map, on our return. Yep. Well, the next thing we're gonna do is head to Alahan. And we're gonna go somewhere in the next episode. This is Kenshin1913 saying, See you later. Take it easy. And have a great day, maybe. I mean, really all depends. See ya.